you can see about uh, about 130 or 40 degrees out front. You know, 360 degrees is a complete circle. She can see 310, so I can be all the way back here. She can still see me. It's only when I'm directly behind her that I'm in her blind spot. But you see, you notice her head? She's watching me all the time. One of the things about handling cattle is you'll watch a lot of people to try to move cattle or group of animals by getting directly behind them. That never works, right? And the reason it doesn't work is because, you see, as soon as I get directly behind her, she's going to turn her head to see where I'm at. She wants to keep her eye on me all the time. That's natural, that's normal. So when we're trying to move a group of animals or one animal straight ahead, the way we do that is we constantly move behind her like this. As soon as I turn to this other side, she'll either turn all the way around or she'll turn her head and watch me on this side, right? And I gradually go ahead and make this arc tighter and tighter. And that's when we move this animal or a group of animals forward. Okay, so that's an important thing uh, to note. I think we can see this best because the very best cattle herders are those dogs over there. They're far better than most people are. All right, you watch that. You watch how they hurt those sheep. You watch how they hurt those cattle. They're always moving behind them, right? And they're moving in an arc. They never stay in one place except for just a moment to take the pressure off of these animals as they're moving them. So it's very, very important. We use exactly the same techniques, you see. That's where we learned it, I'm sure. Right? Because we know to do that. Now, the other thing I want to show you about movement of animals and how these animals perceive us and what makes a very important uh, point here in the process of, of handling these animals. Her shoulder is what we call the point of balance. It's right there that if I move slightly behind and put a little pressure on her, she would naturally move forward, right? Being a dairy cow and a show cow, and she's very comfortable with me, she's not going to do that. But if it's a beef cow, they're going to move ahead. If I come up to the front and get ahead of the shoulder right here, now I'm ahead of the point of balance, and if I put a little pressure right here, this animal's going to back away or turn and go that direction. So right here is the point of balance. Okay, and I also know that if I put pressure directly here, she will either go forward or she'll go back, depending on where she feels she has a place to go. Okay, so cattle, with cattle, and with most livestock for that matter, the point of balance is right on the shoulder. Now, a beef cow has a very big flight zone. A dairy cow has a very short, almost no flight zone. This cow has almost no flight zone, so she's totally comfortable with that. I'm going to get John a uh, break here because this old girl, she, after we have her out here just for about five minutes, she starts to get tired of all we're, what we're doing here. So uh, we want to give her a break here and uh, let Dr. Nara put her back. Once again, I just had to look at her shoulder, or her, um, her eyes, see where they're positioned. That's very typical, of course, of all prey animals, right? She's a prey animal. And I'll talk about that again. As I said, she has about 360 degrees. Our vision around her is only directly behind her that she can't see anything. Critical thing to keep in mind as we look at this animal. And also, we need to think about some other things relative to the vision. When we look at the vertical vision, this animal has very little vertical vision, right? Deer have very little vertical vision. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to stand in the deer stand. And not deer, right? So this animal is exactly the same, all right? But you couldn't hunt people, if you hunted people, right? You couldn't do that in a deer stand because we have very good vertical vision, right? We can see up in the air quite easily, like 140 degrees. So there's a very real difference just in vision. The other thing about, and John, put her back as well. The other thing about vision in these animals is, is that they have very, very uh, sharp vision. They're able to...